My name is Suraj Groom from Blue Butcher and today we'll be making a butcher's old fashioned. First, uh, pick ice and some water. Your ice cube becomes sort of round and all the shards from the ice goes away. Take a half ounce of old fashioned syrup, ounce and half of Maker's Mark, half ounce of written rye, half ounce of your Hennessy cognac. Two generous dash of Angus Rabida. Give it a good stir. Give it a good sprinkle. You take the orange peel and rim on top of the glass. And then you take your orange peel and then just give it a good spank, 360. Take the pith out of skin. Leave the garnish on top of the glass. Finish that off with our homemade Morello cherry. There you go. That's our butcher's old fashioned. The next drink that we're making is called the uh, Corpse Reviver. Just a drizzle of your absinthe. The thing is to just wash the glass with absinthe. And in the meantime, you prepare your concoction. An ounce of your London dry gin, three-fourths of your Cointre, three-fourths of your Dolin Blanc. This one gives a little bit sweetness to your drink here. Plus the Cointre helps a lot as well. Three-fourths of your compressed lemon juice as well. Drink solely depends on how a person shakes. Here in Blue Butcher, we do a Japanese heart shake. We roll the drink, roll the ice inside the shaker. So the idea is to chill the drink, but not dilute it. And discard it. Get your lemon peel. One gentle press, around, same thing again. Try to be precise. Corpse Reviver, Blue Butcher Sound. So the apple pie moonshine that we make here, it's basically your apple juice, apple cider, seasonal herbs, and a couple of secret butcher's ingredients. The idea behind this drink is to give it a more prohibition kind of look. And we didn't want the drink to be very strong or harsh, but rather soluble. I burn the cinnamon steak so you kind of get the aroma of apple pie and cinnamon. For just apple pie moonshine. Thank you.